take your shirt off. Good, now your pants. Hey, I think you're gonna take your pants off, don't you? No? Now raise your hands. I can get naked if you like. That's funny. The guns, the wires. Are you happy? All right. All right, now, just move away from the money. Go on. Hey, move away from the money, you hear me? Well, you don't see any cash. I see her. All right. Move that way. It'd be a lot easier if we just went to full service. Well, if you want to play fast and loose with the city's money, that's fine with me. It costs 27 cents more a gallon. Yeah. But here, it's worth it. You could be right. You did that on purpose. I didn't. Look, these boots cost me more than a week's salary. Think of what they cost the ostrich. I ain't kidding with you. You owe me. You keep this up, there'll be two contracts out on you. Chicago and Houston. It's your high noon, lady. Low as smoke. Sitting with you at the down home spot in your dial. KLHC. That'll be all right. Help me! Please help me! Nice. Nice. <laughs> Shake there, brother. You can look on her body. Guess I'm by. Then you hand us over the money and she's yours. Slow. It's my job. Country radio, where the music never started. I had enough. Leave it. As long as the Jimmy's broke down, I'm not gonna ride in the fat I want my music.
you're under arrest. Get out. Get out. Get against someone. You all right, Lundy? Yeah. I got this one and the other guys. I got their plates. I got this. Boys play awfully rough to make the lead. Get out of here. That wasn't that nice. Didn't that make you feel good? Keep on trying, lady. Y'all got any requests? You call on Lois. Five, 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 KLHC. We thought that Tony tried to rip us off anyway. Well, to tell you the truth, brother, I did. That's all right, though. I got a way to make Mama pay. Watch her. Where's that? You got Lois. Hey, just who we wanted to talk to here. Darling. We want you to help us with something. Listen very carefully. Hey, what is this? You guys pledging a frat? Honey, you're the voice of Houston. We trust you. Now, listen very carefully. We got Georgia Alcott's daughter. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself. Now, she tried to burn us on the ransom. So now we're electing you to help us. Now, you're going to be doing a little go between it for us, lady. Or else, when we start cutting up this little girl here, you're the one that's going to get the parts. What'd you do? What? What'd you do? <laughs> Well, I got someone nice to help us, brother. Come on, Sonny. Oh, is it was a coke deal going bad, right? Right? Not even close. I am a licensed private investigator. <laughs> sure you are. And in Alabama's hometown, you'd be an honest politician. What does that mean, Lundy? Well, you figured out, Alabama. I don't understand. Really boy, he says he knows George Alcott. Yeah, we believe him, too. One of the richest women in Houston hires a man with a tattoo on his head. Well, 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 well. Seems like he's been telling you true. Lieutenant wants to see you in her office. Somebody tell the motor pool they got a gas leak. Detectives Lundy. Yama. This is... Yeah. Lois Smoke. You know, I talked to you on the phone one time. And played me a real sweet song. I really appreciated it. I listen to you all the time. Yeah, no kidding. I really like the way you look on those billboards, too, Lois. It's not really me up there. Just a pretty picture. Hey, Lieutenant, you want to tell us what this is all about? Yeah. Listen. We got Georgia Alcott's daughter. Now, she tried to burn us on the ransom. So now we're electing you to help us. That's it. Looks like you uh, might be working with us for a while. Well, I don't see why. I brought you the tape. Now it's up to you. You kidding me, lady? I mean, where's that friendly voice, those words of comfort? This is Lois. You can count on me. I mean, we'll get through this thing together. What is all that? Just part of your act? Hey, Lundy, what's your problem, huh? I'm sorry, I can't handle this. I'm afraid you may not have too much choice. Lieutenant, Mrs. Alcott. Lieutenant Beaumont, I got here as fast as I could. Is it you? Are you the woman they called? Yes. Is Lisa? Did you talk to Lisa? They said she was OK. Oh. Miss Alcott, I'm Sergeant Lafayama. When's the last time you saw your daughter? It was two days ago. She started to go to school, and she never got there. Why didn't you call us then? No, no, police. They made me swear to that. 
They wanted a million dollars in cash by today. They don't know I'd pay ten million dollars to get my Lisa back. Mrs. Alcott, uh, how come you sent Sonny Nash down there with a load of worthless money? I mean, where'd a lady like you run into a person like that anyhow? Well, he was recommended to me by a friend of mine at the country club. Didn't you realize, ma'am, that that man could have gotten your daughter killed? No. Look, I never could have raised so much cash that quickly. But Mr. Nash figured that these people were amateurs and that he could get Lisa back without creating a fuss or anything. <laughs> Miss Alcott, we'll get your daughter back. The FBI's been notified. Until they get here, I'll have a couple of my men stay with you. Cover the phones, just in case the kidnappers get in touch. Just in case? What are you talking about, just in case? Miss Alcott, they didn't care much for your Mr. Nash. They want to deal through Lois Smoke from now on. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you very much for helping. Miss, uh, Lois, take it easy. I know it's tough being rammed in the middle of a mess like this. Yeah, sure, you know. I do know. I've been there, I got through it, and you'll get through it too. So don't worry. I always worry. I just can't be alone now. I don't even want to go home. I mean, they might... They could come after me. You needn't bother yourself about that. We can put her up at my place. We'll be able to guard you better there. But what if they try to contact her at her place? We relay her lines. Either way, you got 24-hour babysitters as of now. She's not what you want. No, she ain't even from Texas like you. Thank God. like a cruel to the seeds is not a crime. Told you bail me out. Hey, you saw those guys. You're not leaving here till you run the mug books for us. I didn't see anything. Well, I'll tell you what, Sonny. There'll come a time in the not-too-distant future when we'll meet again. And I got a real good way to improve your vision. You see, this is typical police attitude. They can't stand it when a private investigator wants to steal a little of the glory, can you? I'll tell you what. When we lift your license, about the only thing you're gonna steal is little old ladies' dogs. But then you can always find them back for them at about $1,000 a pop. I am still on this case, Mr. Detective. See you around, Mr. Private Eye. Looks like you made a friend for life, Lundy.
old poot like you should be driving anyway. Let me see your license and insurance. I ain't got time for that. I guess I'll just have to call the police, you hear? I still say there's something bogus about it. We can't rely on her. She's what we've always wanted, Lundy, which is a direct line to the bad guys. Yeah, well, there's a lot of static on that line. She'll come around. I don't see it. And I'm not willing to risk Lisa Alcott's life on it. What do you want to do, huh? You want to go knock on everybody's door and ask who the local kidnapper is? No, I want to lean on Sonny Nash. Not investigation. That is vendetta. Oh, love him. Don't get Sicilian on me. Look, Lois is the key. The perps rolled the dice and came up with her. Since when do we let them call the shots? We got to cut Lois out of the equation and go it on our own. She's all we got. We got to make their choice work for us. I heard the shower run. Maybe you can catch her if you're quick. You're a riot, Lundy. Yeah, I'm decent. Decent, I'd say you were rather attractive. He's still here. That's what I was afraid of. Come on, Lois. I'm on your side, you know. Let's make the best of this. What best is that? We can save a little girl's life. She's counting on you. I can't even count on myself. Things happen to me. I'm scared. Lisa Alcott scared. Please try to understand. It's not because I don't care. It's just the phone. It's just the phone. Not anymore. It's my line. Yeah, Lundy here. OK. They just blew away a citizen. Positive ID on the white van. That's who we're dealing with. What the hell is this? There was a problem. He greased somebody, didn't he? He said he was going to call the cops. I got the donuts. I didn't eat one. You are crazy. Teddy, can I just count on you to do one simple thing? It's supposed to be a money deal. There's not supposed to be any killing involved. Frank, let's talk serious. Let's talk serious. This is a big step for us. Now, now, you knew as good as me we was going to have to do anybody that got in the way. Lisa, too, maybe. Chocolate or a glaze? It's your line. Pull it together, Lois. It's going down. You got to do this. Go. Lois, smoke. Need your help. Why won't you leave me alone? Oh, hey, we'll leave you alone as soon as you give us what we want. I don't care what you want me to do. Just 
tell me what it is, and let's get it over with. You have Georgia get that million together by 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, not a minute later. You understand? I'll call you here with time and place to be sure. Hey, I remember, no cops. Can't wait to meet you, Lowe. I'm a big fan. Did you get a trace? No. Lois, you, you know, did really? Georgia. Make sure she's got that money packed and ready to go by nine. I got something to do. Right, I'm staying with Lois. I'll see you when you get back. It might be a while. You're going after Nash, and it's going down with Lois in the morning. Not if I crack Nash tonight, it ain't. Well, I guess that's all for now, but don't you stray too far. Your lady will never leave you for long. There are no speakers. On either side, that'll go great in my apartment. I just really hate your neighbors. No, I don't. What about you? I don't even know who mine are. I knew you were going to say that. You know, Lois, you can't spend the rest of your life hiding out in that sound room. Weren't you going to say something to me this morning? Not now. What do you want me to say? I guess it's not so much what you say, but what you do that counts. Well, I haven't walked out yet. That's a start. Yeah. I gotta get myself something to eat. Okay. No car. You drove. I know. How about sushi, huh? Sushi? I was up to my ears in sushi in New York. I kind of prefer ribs. I was afraid you were gonna say that. Pleasure to see you. What, that Chinese restaurant refused you credit again? Or are you actually eating here voluntarily, huh? <laughs> you didn't lose the bet, did you? You lost smoke, aren't you? Yeah. I thought so. You know, you cost me a bunch of money. I do? You sure do. Because every time you're on the air, nobody wants to feed their quarters into my jukebox. I don't know what to say. Hey, Chicken, I bet you've got a request for her. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea. How about uh, Handel's Water Music, hmm? Huh? Yeah, I like that one a lot. Sure, I can play it as soon as Willie Nelson records it. <laughs> well, I'll talk to him about that. <laughs> Birds. Get off your fingers. I'll wind up like a, like a bloody banana. Man, you gotta believe me. I don't believe you, Barry. Back off, Nash. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. What's he want? Beats me. He's drunk. Doped up. Oh. Man, you're gonna wake him up. Yeah. And he's gonna be madder in hell, too. Mm. Look, all right. He's after Frank and Teddy. All right? Is that good? Last name? Stark, damn it. Stark. They're my cousins. And will you please quit that? How come Nash is looking for him? They're talking loose. Something about snatching this kid. I don't know. Where did they live? Look in the phone book. I don't know. They could be anywhere. You gotta let me out of here before he gets oh. up. I don't have any insurance. Sonny. Looks like you're a two-time loser for assaulting a hayseed. And carrying a concealed weapon while out on bail. Whatever am I going to do with you? All I tried to do was help a kid. Maybe pick up a hundred thousand dollars on his money. And I wind up all beat up. Make you feel a little good. No. It makes me feel a lot good. Yes. Like this bottle of wine. 
It took Chicken a month to get this in. It's probably the only bottle in Houston. You don't like it much here, do you? Gee, I didn't come here by choice. Chicago kicked me out. But, you know, it's, it's a new town. You make your place. I didn't come here to make a place for myself. I came to disappear. Well, that explains the job and the billboards. The billboards I fought. The job? I like my husband used to say, radio's the only way I could go to bed with a city in New York and risk nothing. Ex-husband? Late husband. Richard. Last year, we were living in Queens. We were having this fight. Something stupid, like we forgot to buy the dental floss. Just, I don't know. And Richard went out to walk it off like he always did. Some kid shot him for his watch. Some cheap digital little piece of... That's tough, Lois. Use my life. You know, the cops have practically told me that if they'd hauled in every kid with a digital watch and a smoking gun, there'd be nobody left in school the next day. Jeez, I'm sorry, Lois. I'm all right, Joey. Now. After things fell apart, I found ways to put them back together. There are pills that do wonderful things for you. And to you. cleaned up, and then I moved here, where there were no reminders. Anyway, they said Houston was safe. Safe? I was misinformed. Casablanca. You still have to drive me home. In the morning? You'd get the money in plenty of time. It's more than that. Things are moving. Nash. Yeah, I busted him last night. Got two names. The FBI hit their place at 3 a.m. Frank and Teddy Stark. They get him? No, they've cleared out. End of that string. All right. Interesting thing, though, is that uh, I got home about an hour ago. Lois Smoke never turned up last night. Is that so? Yeah. I guess she must have split, unless she was with you. Well, Lundy, it's gonna take some serious detective work to figure this one out. So I'm just playing good time tunes. No deaths or drunks or D-I-V-O-R-C-E. Because it's such a beautiful morning. Nothing happened. We stayed up talking. Watching all Bogart flicks on the VCR. That's all. Whatever. It's a mistake. I'm sorry, I was upstairs. Come in. Tell me, do you have some news? I mean, did you hear any news at all? We didn't come up with anything solid, ma'am. It looks like we're gonna have to go through with the ransom exchange. <sighs> the 
money. You got it? Oh, uh, no, it's, uh, it's, it's late. I mean, it was a very complicated arrangement. I mean, maybe I should go call the bank. And quick, too. Lafayette, that money isn't late. What are you talking about now? All booms and all busts. Unless they're in trouble, rich ladies don't tolerate a mess like this. They don't open their own front doors either. And they certainly don't make any excuses about the money that saved their daughter's lives. She's broke. She hadn't got the money. We got some trouble, though. I, uh, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's, it, it's still in the works. You understand the cash-free society. I mean, it's long-term, non-liquid assets. It would seem that oil is a non-asset liquid right now. Look, if you can't get it... Uh, ma'am, we understand how difficult it is to liquidate and things. Uh, that's why the city maintains an emergency fund for situations like this. You might want to take advantage of it. But, Detective Lundy, I am Time's certain that bank short. is... Maybe it would be best. Look, if that's what we're going to do, let's do it. It's almost time. Hello. OK, all right. The lieutenant and that federal honcho are on the way over with the cash. Great. I got about two minutes. Let her be. She's thinking about what she's got to do. Maybe you ought to, too. I want to be right next to her. That's what I'm afraid of. No. You're not afraid of me and her. You're afraid of you and her. Don't you want to know? It's that play-acting part of her. It's always saying she'll be there for you. But I don't believe it. When it comes to the truth time, I don't think she's going to be there at all. Just another performance. Lundy, she is a performer. It doesn't matter what I feel about it, you and her. But you're a smart cop, and it's not something a smart cop would do. Not now, not in this situation. I'm not just a cop, Lundy. Why the hell do you think I'm talking to you like this, Lafayama? I'm not just a cop, either. I am your partner, man. Keep going. Party time, Lois. Listen and don't make no mistakes. Phone booth on Abilene Road, right by the warehouse. Ten minutes till the next call for further instructions. Well, I can't get there in ten minutes. Lisa says you better. Ten minutes, exact. Rewind this sucker. Lois. Lisa Alcott, just so you know. Joanne, you got the money? I got it right here. Is that the girl? Yeah. Could you handle it? You're damn right. She'll be fine. Believe me.
Everything kind of lacks a personal touch, don't it? Where's the money? I have to see the girl. Hey, you don't give me the money, you're gonna see her all right. Dead. Now, come on, where is it? What are you, what are you doing? It's in the car. What? It's in the car. I'll be right back. They want the money. I didn't see Lisa. Come on! All right, easy does it, Lois. Take the bag, leave the door open. When they bring the girl out, just walk her back here nice and easy. Just take it easy. Everything will be okay, I promise. Just get... get over here! You are supposed to stay in the van. I want to see it, too. Oh, well, here, look at it. Now, get in there. Get out! Now, take a good look, honey. All units, it's going down. Now you go on home, and you tell Georgia everything's fine and she's in good hands. What are you talking about? I gave you money. Frank? Kill my brother, you hear me? 
I'm going no way. If I don't, she's dead. If you do, she's dead. And so are you. We're in position right now. You got a shot, Mac? No, that girl's too close, man. Where's the cop? Where's the cop? I'm going low. All right. I got you covered high. Partner. OK, man. Teddy, now, now listen. We already gave you the copter. Fair is fair. I can't give you anything else until I get something in return, OK? Hey, every time this girl frees, that's a present. You understand? Do you understand? I want that cop! There it is, Teddy. Okay. Yeah, everybody's gonna die. Getting kind of late, Teddy. Gonna miss the start of the Rockets game. You don't want to miss right the Rockets there. game, do you? I seen them last night. They were really good, Teddy. You didn't see them, though, because you were busy, right? Stop right there! Kick San Antonio's butt, because that's for sure. Did you see that? No, you didn't see that. I'm from you Chicago, were... of course. You! I'm a Michael Jordan fan. You like you Michael Jordan? You killed Frank! Michael Jordan, he's some player, isn't he? You ever want to play basketball again, Teddy? You're going to have to give up the girl. Because you've got the money, now you've got me. So you got to give up the girl, Teddy. Teddy, I need I'm that care. girl. You know what I'm talking about, Teddy? I need that girl. That girl cannot stay with you. I need the girl, Teddy. You've Stop got the right money. There. you got to give it up. you got the money and you got me, so you got to give it up now, Teddy. Money? I know, Joanne. I know. Teddy, you this get on your knees! You give it up. I'm not going down. you got to give it up. You've got the money. You've got me. You've got everything, get Teddy. On your you got to let the girl go. Get on your knees! Let's go, Teddy. You're not going to get away with this, Teddy. Hey! Get your knees! Oh. Get out! You two! You dead? Lois? You did good. You did real good. His number's dedicated to all you men out there, not to make a lady feel... Well, you know what I mean. This is Lois Smoke. Gosh, you look so tired in there. Well, I didn't sleep too well last night. <laughs> Joey, I'm going back to New York. As soon as I tie up some loose ends. Why? Because I can. Well, you'd go back to Chicago if you could, wouldn't you? You know it, <laughs> like that. Well, I... I realized the only thing stopping me was me. And you were the start of that. I'll never be able to thank you. And, and uh, we'll always have Houston. <laughs> Much obliged, Lafayette. Hope they didn't set you back too much. Nope. Ten dollars down, you don't make your first payment for 90 days. My first payment. I guess you don't want to hear this. For once you can turn it up, Lundy. girls and cocaine lead to murder. I want him, Jake. When Jake falls for a fatal femme fatale. That's right. Tonight on CBS. Thursday. My mother. Jarvis! Yeah! Yeah! 
Fuck. Next on Houston Nights. Nobody goes nose to nose with a lion unless he's covered. Get on the ground right now! Your only suspect turns out to be a two-bit Elmer Gantry. The time has come for judgment to begin. What's your interpretation? It's the power of the Lord. That's the beauty of the Bible. Tell the Lord that I am worthy. This is a very competitive business. Competition's one thing, murder's something else. If you believe in God, he knows it, you know it, everybody knows it. You don't have to shout it from the corners, okay? No! Later tonight, suspicion surround the family when a marriage ends in murder on the law and Harry McGraw. But first, a date with death exposes the seedy side of an escort service on Jake and the Fat Man. Next.